Tarzan of the Apes, from the novels by Edgar Rice Burroughs, with Mr. James H. Pierce as Tarzan and Miss Joanne Burroughs as Jane Porter. Professor Porter and his party, searching the African jungle for his daughter Jane, are captured by cannibals. In a trial by poison, Philander outwits the witch doctor, and the party escapes death. In the jungle, Tarzan, called to settle a dispute among the apes, leaves Tog, a bull ape, to guard Jane. While Tog hunts grubs at the base of a tree, his star, the snake, whips himself about the great ape. Now, are you ready? Hold your breath. Jane Porter stumbles to the edge of the platform. With wide, staring eyes, she looks down on the deadly combat below. His other snake, secure in his anchorage to the south branch, draws Tog tighter and tighter in his struggling, crushing, whining coil. Tog strikes and claws, trying in vain to free himself from the twisting, writhing horror. Tog beats futilely at empty air. The snake's jaws are dangerously close to the great ape's neck. Tog throws up a mighty, hairy arm. The snake hisses, draws back, and tightens his coils. Jane watches horrified as Tog's struggles grow weaker and weaker. Tog's yells and screams grow fainter and fainter as the horror of the jungle hissed tightens about the great ape's massive chest. Let me go. Oh, if I can only get to him in time. Fight, Tog. Fight. I'm coming to help you. Jane remembers her revolver. If only she can get close enough to shoot the snake without killing Tog. Jane swings from the platform as she has seen Tarzan do so many times. She drops. Her slender arms reach out to catch a lower branch. She holds it. The rough bark cuts and bites into her hands, but she holds on. Her feet reach for a yet lower limb. They touch it quickly. She drops again. Now she's on the ground. Jumping aside, she misses the darting, swinging sweep of the snake's head. Again, Hister strikes. Jane holds the revolver at arm's length. The snake snaps at her hand. She presses the trigger. Again and again, the bullets tear into the repulsive head. Hog is deafened by the explosion so close to his head. The Tarzan swinging his way back from the dumb dumb, the shots mean danger. Danger to Jane. With terrific speed, he flashes through the treetops. Swaying branch and bending limb give beneath his sure foot and accurate hand. He draws closer to the clearing. Down, down through the dense spreading foliage, he drops like a meteor. The Virgil thins. In the light-flooded clearing, he sees Jane, gun in hand. Jane! Jane! Oh, my skin, I, I think I killed it. I hope Tog is all right. The snake attacked him. I, I shot it. Jane kill Hister? Jane bundle off Hister? Tog? Tarzan steps forward and helps Tog free himself from the now relaxed coils. Tog shakes his huge head in an effort to rid it of the ringing sound caused by the shot. <laughs> Tog talk like Jane many, many. Jane kill Hister. Jane no more frightened. White skin like many, many. Thanks, White Skin. I, I'm all upset, but, but I'm glad that I was able to save Tog's life. Oh, I hate to kill anything, but I hate snakes worse. All jungle afraid, Hister. Yes, the beastly thing. I don't wonder that all the jungle fears them. Is Tog all right? Jane turns to find Tog grasping the snake in his hands. The great ape examines the dead reptile with mystified eyes. He knows that Jane killed it, but how? He twists and turns the dead snake about. Then he turns to Tarzan. <laughs> Tog, look, see what killed Hister. Jane, shoot gun. Bundalo, Hister. I wonder. Now is my opportunity to prove that with a gun I am able to defend myself. I am to be feared, White Skin. Yes, Jane. Jane, want Tog, look, see. Jane, shoot gun. Numa, Sheeta, any jungle frighten Jane. Jane, shoot. White Skin, talk, Tog. Tog. Jane, same as White Skin. Numa, Sabor, Kerchak, frighten. Jane, kill quick. Yes, White Skin. And I'm going to show Tog. Jane, shoot gun. Tog, look, see why it's a kill. Tog, get to a mood. Come on, Ganny. Come, they loot and bungalow. Look, Tog. Trees. As Jane raises the gun and points it at a distant tree, Tog claps his hairy hands over his ears to shut out the sound he knows will come. Tog ambles forward and tries to dig the bullet from the plowed up bark of the tree. Tarzan picks Jane up in his arms and starts back to the platform. Jane smiles, for she knows that Tog will tell the ape tribe of the killing. Knows that from now on, she, Jane Porter, is a power to be reckoned with in this vast African jungle. In their hut in the cannibal kraal, Professor Porter, Philander, and Clayton are recovering from the effects of the poison cup. Lying in the center of the hut is the witch doctor. Eyes glazed, hideous wrinkled face drawn, and bending over him threateningly, Lieutenant Arno. 
Tisi kalau bangku kiko mau bantu tisi. Kepasan, kepasan. Mengai sana kutu amasi. Mengai bono maduri kepasan. Biar biar do not forget it. Did you make any headway, Dano? As much as could be expected with this jackal. I threatened him with the fire, the cooking pot, everything I could think of in his native tongue. What did he say, Dano? I mean, what sort of promise did you get out of him? As to promises, Monsieur, for such as they are, he promises to leave us alone, to use what influence he has left in promoting our interest uh, with the chief. And what of my Jane? He says that she will not be harmed. Ah, then that at least is something. Uh, but not to be replied upon, Monsieur the Professor. That is something beyond the witch doctor's power. No, no, Monsieur. If Mademoiselle Jane ever falls into the hands of these savage after what has happened, but then that is what we must prevent. And here are some things that will help prevent them. Ready, Dono? We are listening. In the first place, the most important thing to the cannibals is rain. Yes, rain, but but how? That's just what I was thinking, Professor. Making rain is not one of my accomplishments. Uh, Every more, Monsieur, true. But the natives' own stupidity will help us out. Are you sufficiently recovered from that poison to travel? I believe I am. Uh, by the way, Dono, do you know what that beastly stuff was, or is? Uh, are we? It is uh, made from the bark of a tree. A uh, vile tasting infusion, but not deadly. Well, I knew that because the witch doctor drank it. But how did the witch doctor expect us to die if he didn't? Uh, Monsieur Clayton, the witch doctor has played on the credulity of these natives until they thoroughly believe that this witch's brew is poison. The effect on them, believing that they will die if they drink it, is that they actually die. And the witch doctor thought that he would uh, be successful with us? Yes, sir, that's it. But that is fast. The main point is... I have information that will, I am sure, get us out of here. Oh, I've heard that so but many times. Yes, Monsieur Clayton. I freely admit that had I known that Mademoiselle Porter was not in this compound, we would not now find ourselves in this predicament. But, yeah, what is the use of crying when the milk it is spilled? And uh, uh, what is this information? The natives have a rock temple, a cave, I imagine. And in that cave is a mummy, which they believe to be possessed by a powerful spirit or demon. Uh, a mummy? Uh, that is not so extraordinary, Clayton. Numerous mummies have been found in Central Africa. I see no reason why one should not have found its way here. Eh, uh, well, Lord, to be brief, the natives believe that the spirit has left the mummy because of some wrongdoing on the part of the tribe. Ah, similar to ancient Egyptian beliefs. And the spirit must be returned to the mummy in order to bring rain. Exactement. And for them, they believe that the spirit has occupied the body of the devil god that haunts them, steals their arrows, and so on. Then we may have these savages on our side, looking for, I still say, Tarzan of the Apes. And eventually, Jane, when do we start? Uh, I knew that you would be anxious, so we shall start. A shot! That means the cruiser must have returned. Quick, quick, Dono. This temple or cave, is it outside the compound? Out? Yes, then tell the natives we must go to perform the ceremonies once. It's a chance to get out of here. Come on! The shot that Dono believed was fired by one of the sailors from the returning cruiser was in reality Jane's demonstration to Tog, the great ape. Tog has dragged off the dead snake to display it at the ape dum-dum. And Jane and Tarzan, seated on the platform, watch the coming night with its velvet sky and silver shimmering stars settle over the jungle. Listen. Numa, say more. Hungry. Hunt. It may be dangerous and brutal and horrible, white skin, but it is beautiful. Yes, Jane. Jungle frightened, but jungle beautiful. Beautiful. White skin like jungle. Yes, white skin. I can understand that. White skin like Jane. Many, many like Jane. And Jane like white skin. If only you were civilized. If only you hadn't been raised in this jungle. Why with your strength... Your wonderful athletic figure. People would turn and look at you anywhere. You'd be the center of admiring eyes. What, Jane? Oh, you wouldn't understand, White Skin. Jane just talked talk to herself. For the first time, I, I almost feel at home. Perhaps, perhaps it's because I'm armed and have fought and won. Or again, maybe I feel that not only have I, have I been able to look after myself, but that I've been able to save one of your friends, White Skin. And I feel that I've raised myself in your esteem. What, Jane? You wouldn't understand, White Skin. 
Your not being able to understand some things has its disadvantages. But then, it has its advantages, too. At least, <laughs> I can talk to myself, say what I want to, without, well, being questioned too closely. Falling night softens the stark outlines of the jungle trees. Numa, Saber, all the jungle cats start their prowl for food. But tonight, their deep-throated roars mean nothing to Jane Porter. She's safe, happy, contented, with Tarzan by her side. She leans back on the platform of twisted branches, relaxed, humming softly to herself as Tarzan, fascinated, watches. Listen. Again, Jane. Again. Last, Professor Porter and his party see a chance to get out of the cannibal kraal. Will they find Jane when they leave, or is the witch doctor planning revenge? This is...